Putting diesel in a kerosene heater is somewhat like deciding to fill your water bottle with soda. It seems like it might fulfill the same purpose, but the aftermath can be a bit messy, not to mention harmful. First off, diesel and kerosene are cousins in the petroleum family, but with very different temperaments. Kerosene is refined to burn cleaner, efficiently, and with less odor than its heavier cousin diesel. This distinction matters enormously when you're using it to power a heater, especially one designed for indoor use. If you decide to pour diesel into your kerosene heater, a few things are bound to happen. 1. You'll notice a strong odor. Unlike kerosene, diesel is not designed to burn as cleanly. The combustion process for diesel is less efficient, leading to incomplete burning. This results in a stronger odor, which could be unpleasant and linger within your home, workplace, or wherever your heater is running. 2. Increased soot production. Because diesel doesn't burn as cleanly, it will produce more soot. This soot can accumulate on the heater's components, leading to potential damage or degradation over time. Not only does this mean more maintenance, but it could also lead to a shorter lifespan for your heater. 3. Risk of damage to the heater. Kerosene heaters are designed with specific fuels in mind. Using diesel can cause the wick to clog more quickly because of its thicker and oilier nature. Once your wick is clogged, the efficiency of your heater drops drastically. In some cases, it might stop working altogether. 4. Potential safety hazards. The use of diesel in a kerosene heater increases the risk of fire and health hazards. The improper combustion can release harmful fumes into the air, posing a risk to those in the vicinity. Additionally, the increased soot production could potentially lead to a fire if not properly managed. 5. Void warranty. Most manufacturers will void the warranty on a kerosene heater if you use the wrong type of fuel. So, if your experiment with diesel leads to a breakdown, you might find yourself out of luck when seeking a repair or replacement. In a nutshell, while diesel might seem like a convenient or cheaper alternative to kerosene in a pinch, the downsides far outweigh the benefits. It's always best to use the fuel that your heater was designed for. Sure, it's tempting to cut corners, but when it comes to the efficiency and safety of your home heating solutions, sticking to the recommended fuel type is the smart move. Plus, who wants to deal with the extra hassle and potential risks of going off-label? From the rainy, contemplative city of Portland, Oregon, I can assure you, keeping warm in the colder months is crucial, but so is doing it safely. It's worth making that extra trip to the store for the right fuel. After all, nothing beats the comfort of a safe and efficiently heated space during those chilly nights.